non-Christian faith, which makes it an article of faith for its followers to believe in Jesus. No Muslim is a Muslim if he does not believe in Jesus. We believe that Jesus Christ was one of the mightiest messengers of God. We believe We believe that he was the Messiah. We believe in his miraculous birth, which many modern-day Christians reject today. We believe that he gave life to the dead by God's permission, and he healed those born blind and the lepers by God's permission. We are going together. The only parting of the ways, the only real difference between the Muslim and the Christian is that we say that he is not God Almighty in human form, he is not God incarnate, and he is not the begotten Son of God. Metaphorically, we are all the children of God, the good and the bad. And Jesus would be closer to being the Son of God than any one of us, because he would be more faithful to God than any of us can ever be. From that point of view, we would agree that he is most preeminently the Son of God. But not as the Christians say, that he is the only begotten son, begotten, not made, not in that sense. Coming to the subject, the subject is, is the Bible God's word? And Brother Swagat has given us to understand that translations and versions are one and the same thing. We Muslims, we have a number of translations of the Quran even into the English language. Different people, Yusuf Ali, Mamidu Pikthol, you know, Darya Badi, and so on and on. We have English translations by different people. And there, the translation means a difference in the choice of words. Choice of words in translating a certain phrase from Arabic into English. Choice of words. Versions are quite a different thing. Look, here, I have in my hand this Bible, which Brother Swagat, as well as many Protestants, do not accept as the Word of God. This is the Roman Catholic version of the Bible, the Douay or Reims version of the Bible. This Bible has 73 books. This is an encyclopedia of 73 books, seven more than one uh, which Brother Swagger takes oath on, the King James Version. This is the King James Version. He takes oath by it. In his Evangelist magazine, December 1985, somebody questions Brother Swagger about the Bible being the Word of God. And he says, Word of God, and in bracket, I refer to the King James Version in your evangelist of December 85, the King James Version. The King James Version has thrown out those seven extra books. Thrown out. In other words, those seven extra books, the, Christ, the Protestants do not accept as the Word of God. You use certain technical terms like, like apocrypha, which the masses of Christendom do not know. What is this apocrypha? Apocrypha means doubtful, weak not deserve to be in the book of God. As such, the Protestants threw it out as a fabrication. These seven books are thrown out from here. So this version, the Christian Protestants will not accept as the word of God. Am I correct? This is not the word of God. So we put it aside. I agree with you. What you tell me, I accept. You say it's not the word of God. I say I agree with you and I put it aside. Now you tell me that this is the word of God, the King James Version, with its 66 books. This was first published in 1611 by order of His Majesty King James, whose name is still based today. Authorized version, authorized by who? Not God Almighty, by King James. He authorized it, not God Almighty. Now, it goes back to the ancient manuscripts. I'm told, what is ancient? It says four to six hundred years after Jesus is ancient. Now we have access 
to the most ancient manuscripts, most ancient. And this translation here, or version, the RSV, the Revised Standard Version, goes to the most ancient manuscripts. They date from two to three hundred years after Jesus. So closer to the source, the more authentic any document would be, closer to the source. This is common sense. If Jesus, in the time of Jesus, if this was written and he had signed it, autographed it, shh, no questions asked. This is two to three hundred years after, this is four to six hundred years after. So they published this translation, published in your own country here, as well as in Britain, Canada, all these countries, simultaneously you produce this Bible. And we are told some glowing tributes are being paid to this translation. It says here, Church of England newspaper says that the finest version which has been produced in the present century, this one, the finest version. Times Literary Supplement says a complete, a completely fresh translation by scholars of the highest eminence. Fullest use of the resources of modern scholarship. Life and Works, another publication says, the well-loved characteristics of the authorized version combined with a new accuracy of translation. New accuracy. And the Times, the Times of UK, England says, the most accurate and close rendering of the original. They, these publishers of this Bible, the one who got it about first in 1952, they pay some glowing tributes to the King James Version. And I would be disrespectful or failing in my duty if I didn't read those tributes out to you. Why Brother Swaggart loves it and I myself. In every quotation that I will give, I will be quoting from the King James Version. I love the language. Only that now they are doing away with certain terms and expressions. It is not suiting the Christians of the time today. Like, for example, the quotation my brother Swaggart ended with, where Paul on the Damascus Road, a persecutor of the early Christians, going to Damascus, and he sees a vision in which Jesus Christ appears to him and speaks to him in the Hebrew language. Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? Why kickest thyself against the pricks? This is the exact quotation from the King James Version. Which brother, Swagat, I don't know why, he used the word gold. I have been asking Christians what is gold and nobody knows what is gold. I said, why do you change the words? If it pricks, it should be said pricks. If this is the original language of the King James Version. But now, it's talking about goads, goads, I haven't heard that word before in my life. It's a, it's a new word. It's a new terminology coming out. Changing the words, the translation. I'm still not taking exception to that. Goals. So they say about the King James Version, the revisers of the Revised Standard Version, 32 scholars of the highest eminence, backed by 50 cooperating denominations, that the King James Version has with good reason been termed, been termed the noblest monument of English prose. Its revisers in 1881 expressed admiration for its simplicity, its dignity, the music, uh, its power, its happy turns of expression, the music of its cadences, and the felicities of its rhythm. It entered as no other book has into the making of the personal character and the public institutions of the English-speaking peoples. Said so we owe to it, we owe to it an incalculable debt, the English-speaking peoples. The Americans, the Canadians, the British, and people like me who have adopted English as our mother tongue. I speak English better than any other language. It's not as good as Brother Swaggart's, but English happens to be my mother tongue because I dream in English and I swear in English. That makes it my mother tongue, according to the psychologists. Now, this is the tribute. If somebody paid such a tribute to the Quran, I can't imagine a Muslim scholar bettering it. Now, prepare for the shock. I said, prepare for the shock. 
from these 32 scholars of the highest eminence, backed by